Hi everybody, I decided it's time to do an update on my little pump that I got out of a Toyota Prius. There's been a lot of questions and commenters that want to know more about this. So first of all, the size of it. It uh, fits, you know, just in the palm of your hand. It's 12 volt. This is what pumps the coolant uh, through the inverter on a Toyota Prius. And it comes off of anywhere from 2004 up to 2009. You'll find this under the hood, just behind the left front headlight, if you go to the wreckers to get one. It has uh, three nice rubber mounts on it for mounting it on whatever you want. The back on here is kind of like a, a rubbery substance. It's not a hard epoxy, it's, uh, it's mushy. It's really well sealed. And from my experience from using this on a fountain that I made for uh, my backyard, it can be submerged. The only thing I'd say about submerging it though is make sure that you do get the original equipment plug that plugs onto there from the wreckers. Just snip the wires and uh, take it along with you uh, because it's weather packed and it really seals well. Now if you do get one of these pumps and you want to know which side is positive and negative, so if you hold the pump like this with the, the flat edge of the bracket like this, the two holes like that, the right terminal is the positive and the left is the negative. So let's take the pump and cut it open and we'll show you what it looks like inside. So I cut it open at the seam and there's the impeller and there's what it looks like inside the uh, top part. And there's one screw right in the center here, so let's take it out. Oops. And it's just like a stainless steel little screw bolt there. And this part here is a magnet, the impeller. And you can see it's got these three little flutes there. And I'm pretty sure that's what lets the uh, the coolant that's in the inverter, or I should say, we're just going to use it for water, but the water would create a little film in between there and the shaft, and uh, that's what may, helps it spin. It kind of, I don't want to say lubricates it, but that's the, uh, the film that it floats on. And then here is the other part. Now this shaft here, it doesn't rotate, it's solid. Not much more in there except the uh, plastic molding that goes around the other parts of the windings in there. So here's the fountain that I made, and this has a Prius pump in the bottom of it. Uh, and what I have inside here is an upside down plastic container from a planting pot. And the pump is inside of there. I just drilled the hole in the top of it and fed a short hose up near the top. And it just shoots the water out and I place rocks over it just to keep the splashing down and to keep the uh, water in the container. But this thing has been happily running now for... Okay, this is the third season, and each season it runs for about six months straight, morning, noon, and through the night, and uh, it isn't showing any signs of slowing down. It's, uh, it keeps running, and it's been submerged that whole time. But that is with the plug from the factory on it, and some silicone around any connections I made to really uh, keep it waterproof, and yeah, it's working just great. So what I've got here is I've got a 12 volt charger, I've got my voltmeter, and we're going to be checking the voltage and the amperage that it draws. And we've got our Prius pump and we're going to be putting it in this cooler of water here so that you can see how much it really uh, pumps the water. So this pump will prime itself once it's submerged in water, but as far as sucking water up to it to pump water, it won't do that. So I'm ready to power it up here, but uh, before I put it in the water, I'll let you hear what it sounds like when uh, it's not in water. It starts to vibrate on the shaft because there's no water there to uh, give it that thin film in there to separate it. So as you can see, this little guy really pumps. Uh, so that's at the bottom of the cooler there. This cooler is about, oh, about a foot deep with water. So let me pull it to the top.
is <clears throat> starting to suck water there, or suck air a bit there and slow it down, but it's not quite a, quite a lot of volume. So that's it running right now on 11.2 volts from the uh, battery charger. And that's it hooked up to the amp gauge and it is drawing 1.7, 1.8 amps. Well, I hope this video has helped. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.